Hello friends, if you're one of those uh, developers who like to develop their uh, website project uh, locally and work in the, in the local environment without going to have the hassle of uh, online uh, connectivity and the waiting for a uh, long time to appear the plugins or whatever project you're working in with the uh, graphics and the videos, whatever you're putting in your project so you don't, don't have to wait for the longer. I bet that you are, you are familiar with the, with the local by Flywheel to start a new project and as soon as you start your uh, your local application and uh, and you face something like this and uh, you see a red band with the exclamation point giving you the warning saying heads up local router is having trouble starting if you face this trouble continue with this video this is for you uh, I'll tell you how to get rid of this it's, it's a very simple very small uh, but, but before that if you did not subscribe to my channel uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, like the video if it helped and share with your fellow fellow developers. Let's continue to see the trouble right now. So here we are. Let's uh, start from the beginning. Let's say that you you start your uh, local application, and you just uh, wait for till it loads. And now you want to start a new project. So you just say add a new local site and say my local just uh, site one possibly or maybe site five. Continue. Uh, now, just provide the username, we'll just go with the default one and just give a password. And now, say so add a site, and as soon as you add a site, um, the data, it's preparing the database, it's pre preparing the files and the, uh, the pages, and we are trying to load the uh, WordPress for you. As soon you see that your site is ready to work, you got a big red band here pointing you out with the exclamation mark say the heads up local router is having trouble and like you you kind of stuck here you just uh, see there's a something called learn more and then you have a retry you just hit a retry it tries tries again tries again and ends up again on the same place tries again and it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere and just uh, stuck here and now while you have this uh, warning and red band showing uh, you try to search your website. Let's say just uh, view website. It just uh, go try to to look for the for the URL and just gives you that the site cannot be reached. Uh, maybe the the website the URL refuse to connect. Uh, maybe you even try to go to the admin page and you'll just uh, end up with the page where it sh shows you that the site cannot be reached. Let's see how to fix it. I, when I faced this problem, I tried to search around the, the, the net. I couldn't find any video. That's why I decided to just put this video on. And uh, uh, actually, it's a, it's very simple. The, the solution is very simple. Uh, but let's go. We, we, we'll take it by step by step here. Let, let's say if, if you, you find something is called Learn More here, which is actually, if you click it, it will take, to, take you to the local website with the router uh, mode FAQ page. Uh, in fact, it gives you the basic information and it actually tells you how to get over it but it's not easy to just trace it out what the problem is so let's say if you just go down a little bit before you you, you see another uh, red band giving you different type of warning here uh, here the solution lies here it says how do I use local host mode so in this if you if you read here local local may detect a port conflict on port ATR443. So this is basically the main culprit. Generally, most of the problem arises because of the the permissions uh, granted. Uh, uh, or maybe maybe this port is already in use, or possibly some uh, uh, permissions problem. So uh, this is the main problem. So we know the problem, and now we just need to how to, we just need to know how to get rid of it and how to just fix it. So let's go back again to our. Uh, local uh, application here and uh, the best thing, the, the first thing what you need to know I, I, I'll just demonstrate you here you just go into that burger menu just click it here and here are all these options uh, which are giving you some information and some uh, uh, some options so here if you just want to see what the real problem is just uh, uh, click that reveal uh, local routers logs so click on this and you'll uh, see that it will open up the, the, the directory where the, the logs are kept. And you just open this uh, error log and just 
browse it down, go at the bottom, and you just can see the the, the timestamp where the the try to where the application tried to uh, access the port, and it says it fails, and then it even gives the message that an attempt was made to access the socket in a way forbidden by its access permission. So generally, it's the access permission 2443 or maybe port 80. So, okay, that's another uh, topic, uh, how to get these permissions and how to make your socket accessible, a port accessible. Uh, I'm not going to go in this uh, because the solution is very simple. So let's go back here. Now, let's go back on, again to the, to the burger menu. And now here, if you go to preferences, and in the pref pre preferences, you will see there are, there are some options here. So go to the advanced. Uh, in the router mode, click on the router mode. Uh, you will find there are two options for you. One is the site domain. One is the local host. The information is given here. Site domain routing model will use the local site's domain and allow HTTPS. So this is the problem. That it allows you to develop your website or your project into the HTTPS mode and I don't see a point developing it here on your local you could just put SSL certificates while you just go onto the local or onto the onto the uh, live server where you want to host your site so that's why and and if you see this the second option which which is the local host if you select this so local host routing is less prone to the conflicts but does not support HTTPS so we do not want HTTPS uh, SSL certificates at this point so just select the second option localhost apply it and it's done close the menu go back here say start up okay the site is already running it gives you a warning that your URL uh, does not match we try to develop this website while selecting the first option so it does not actually match our uh, URL so you can just say fix it fix the problem I mean it will rewrite the URLs and now your site is ready to go so if you just press view site you will just see site is running site is well good so this is the the basic uh, uh, new 2020 uh, theme from WordPress so if you go back again say admin it will bring you to the admin uh, site here and just you can put your passwords in and log in and voila here you are into the dashboard never save my password here so uh, this is a way that you can just you can get uh, rid of the problem which you face in, uh, in into the into the local environment uh, development uh, so I, I hope this video is uh, help if you find this uh, helpful, please uh, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my site. And thanks for watching.